is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've grown so Hello, you're with Libby Dyson from LibbyStamps.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Thanks so much for stopping by today and spending time with me. Today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks using the Under My Umbrella bundle. So it comes with a photopolymer stamp set with all these beautiful images in it and the Umbrella Builder Punch. Now just because it's an umbrella doesn't mean to say you have to use it as an umbrella. Here I've used it as a butterfly and I'll just show you quickly how I made that. So come in with your Builder Punch and just punch out a couple of the umbrella handles. If you do it at the edge of your card, hmm, that was a bit far over the edge. If you do it at the edge of your card, you're not wasting too much card. So there we go, there's one. So just use up your scraps. This is an ideal bundle to use your scraps with. What I did was, I did a watercolour background, punched out two handles. I'll turn this around so you can see what I did. Put the two handles down as antennae, like that. Came in with two of the umbrellas, which I punched out before. Put the points together where you want them, so about there. And then I came in with one of the flowers. Just fussy cut them out and put them in the middle for the body. So that's how I made the umbrella. Just do a water wash background with your aqua painter and some ink on shimmery white. Wait for it to dry and then add your little flowers for your bundle. You can take off the leaves if you want. All right, so that's one idea. All right, another idea is to come in and I punched some Birthday Bonanza DSP out and you can do it with any DSP so let's see here's the uh, Best Dress DSP I've just got a scrap left over and you can come in and punch using any of or all of the umbrellas all right punch them out like that and then I'm just using up bits of DSP. I'll show you on this piece of white card here. So for this one, I just used a handle, which I glued on with liquid glue and the umbrella. And then I came in with some of the flowers, which I'd fussy cut out. So you could, wrong colors here, but anyway, you'll get the idea your flowers anywhere and then you've got one idea to use for the uh, folded umbrella or you could come in that's what I'm going to use that one on you could come in and swap your umbrellas out and leave that one there as though it was drying add a few flowers around the edge wrong colors but you get the idea as though it's in a pot all right, so there's two ideas for using the umbrella punch. Okay, now on this one, I used some Stampin' Blends and I've used Highland Heather and Calypso Coral on those ones. And I'm going to come in now with some Pool Party. There's some dark Pool Party and background. light Pool Party. Here we go. Alright, so I've already used Highland Heather and Calypso Coral on here and now I'm just going to come in and just use the fine tip of your pen and just dot your colour around carefully staying inside the lines and I've already fussy cut these images out so that's what makes this a bit easier and a bit quicker so just come in and colour the images so just colour around I find the bullet tips easier to use um, 
it helps me stay inside the lines <laughs> and you only need a very light touch to um, get the colour going so we'll just add a bit of dark here and a bit down here and then you can just go in and use your light again this one's probably mostly all dark um, and blend those colours in Alright, so this is Pool Party. I've already used Highland Heather and Calypso Coral. Just come back in and colour around to blend that in. And you can see it looks really quite good. And it's easy to do. Don't think you have to colour the whole image. You know, uh, if you leave some white space, that's okay too. And then I'm just going to come in with some mini Stampin' Dimensionals and add them to the back of my umbrella so I might put that one down there so I'm only using mini ones because I don't want them to pop up too far off the edge of the card and you'll get the idea you should take your pick tool to get the backings off makes it quick and easy and then just go and add that image I go around here do another one here it's the back and pull up and then you've got the backings off all right might put this one up here and maybe one of the small ones down the bottom add your sentiment and then add a nice uh, DSP to the back or to the front of your card front and then you've got a beautiful card made with the under my umbrella bundle all right, so that's another idea. Now, yet another idea was to punch your, to stamp your umbrella out. And here I've used Memento Tuxedo Black and I've stamped it out on Melon Mambo and punched it out. Then what I've done is I've come in and I've stamped the Gangs All Mia out of, using Memento onto the shimmery white again then I've quickly coloured it with crumb cake light and dark done a quick fussy cut added a handle at the back of the meerkats put stamp and dimensionals under it all and added it to a white a little water wash and I'll trim that up and add a sentiment to it and then I've got another card front so and you can add the sentiment from the under my umbrella or from the Gangs or Mere. Now the Gangs or Mere is a celebration product and you get that one free. You can choose uh, when you spend $90 from any of the catalogues or the clearance racks. So all you have to do is a $90 spend and that's one of the free products you can choose from the celebration catalog now I have one more idea to share with you today all right I've now I've come in and I have punched out some shapes of the umbrella all right so I've got two and I might punch out a third one so to get a mask so just take a post-it note of any size that you've got make sure it's sticky come in and with your punch usually from the non-sticky side is the best and then manipulate the post-it note round and make sure you've got some sticky on the back then take your pieces out all right and then you've got some masks now if they lose their stick use a um, a bit of liquid glue take the sticky off a bit or all right you can use your snail adhesive to make a mask so just put a bit of snail on it then take the tackiness off by using your finger you don't want it too tacky same with the other piece if you don't find it's sticky enough just a bit of snail put your finger up and down on it 
until it takes some of the tack away. All right, now I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black and you're just going to ink that up and stamp down where you want it and then pop your mask on it. Stamp again at an angle, pop your mask on it, stamp again and I'm going to stamp a bit higher this time. Pop a mask on it. Now then you can come in also with your handle and you can shorten your handle by stamping into the umbrella just like that. So shorten the handle. Might need to do that one again. All right, so shorten the handle and just make sure it's okay. And I'm going to move this mask now. I'll move that mask. I might leave that mask there. I'm going to stamp another umbrella over here. And I don't need a mask so much this time because I'm going to stamp up a bit and then add another mask. And you can see how you work that. So just by adding masks, they should go up. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five. Maybe do two more. Five, six, and we can do part of one here. Seven. All right, now I'm going to come back in with my umbrella handle and I'm going to move my mask just back down here because I don't want to go onto that umbrella. No, I'm going to move this mask up here. That's what I'm going to do because I don't want to go over that. So I need to put this one about there. So, all right, I need to move this one up here. But you'll be able to see how you can do it to suit. And they don't all need to go onto an umbrella. You can just have a stick coming down. It didn't come down far enough. So just because they're photopolymer stamps, you can just stamp again. All right, so I think all our umbrellas have got sticks now. There we go. And then you can just come in with some, with your aqua painter, or you can use stamp and blends, whatever you like. If I used aqua painter, I could come in with some balmy blue. And it's important just to clean your aqua painter in between colors and make sure you've got plenty of water coming down. So and I'm using shimmery white. So I'm just going to come in here and now I know I've used Memento but if you're really careful and you've let it dry for a minute you'll be able to use it without any trouble. All right so I'll do one more in the blue. Leave this one down here. So you can come in with a whole lot of different coloured umbrellas and make it a happy rainy day if you want to. I've got some Melon Mambo here. So I'll we'll use some of that and I've got some along the side here that I'll just pick up, make a bit of a wash in there, come in and add some colour here and you don't have to be very careful, I mean, you know, I can't colour but you get the idea. So we've created a rainy day scene with some happy umbrellas, we might do another pink one up here and yeah that top one's bled a bit but See how you can get different shades of the same colour by watering it down a bit and then clean your um, aqua painter and come in with another colour. I've got Daffodil Delight here, that'll do. And we've nearly finished our rainy day umbrella scene. So just come in down here with some of the yellow. Not quite wet enough. So we've created a happy rainy day scene using umbrellas and masks. So they're just a few ways of using the Under My Umbrella bundle. So we've used it with masks to create a rainy day scene. We've used it uh, with images to put inside the umbrella. We've punched it out of designer series paper and added it to a card front and Last but not least, we've used it to make a butterfly. So there's four ideas with the Under My Umbrella bundle. 
from Stampin' Up! and comes with the stamp set which has 15 images and sentiments and the Builder Punch which has the open umbrella, the closed umbrella and the umbrella handle. You can make masks out of it easily and it's a great bundle to buy and don't forget if you shop before the end of the 31st of March you might be able to choose a free product when you spend $90 or more. Now under my umbrella is $53 for the bundle. It's in the January to June mini catalog and it's a really cute bundle. Here it is here. Create, create your own patterned background with stamping and colouring. It's simple and you can create any colour scheme you like. So it's a bundle for $53. Bargain. Add some cardstock and some uh, adhesive or some stampin' blends or some uh, aqua painters and you've got your $90 quite easily. Alright, I'd love you to shop with me. If you like this video and the tips I shared with you, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.